What's happening, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. I'm thinking it's Monday for some reason. These days are just all starting to blend together. I don't know if you can relate to that or not. Getting up and doing a lot of similar things every single day, not leaving the house, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to talk to you a little bit about calculating the numbers you need when it comes to getting into a rent and specifically how to calculate the down payment and how to calculate the uh, monthly payment. As you can see, I, I done did myself all up for today. Um, just gonna, I was just actually working on on this uh, specific process for a, a tenant buyer client. So I said, well, I'm just gonna jump on the uh, jump on the old internet here and just show everyone how to actually do this for yourself. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Is gonna show you how to calculate the down payment and the and the monthly payment for your own rent home. And uh, if you want to learn actually how to do rent down for yourself, get into a, get into a property of your own, cutting the middleman out like myself, I don't mind. Uh, if you want to do that um, and get into your own rent down, like there's a very specific model that I created to actually do this to attract the homeowner, uh, present and negotiate with the with the homeowner for price and terms as well as set up and structure the rent own for success. And I'll show you how to do it uh, at buyfor100down.com. Uh, if you wanna head over there, grab a copy of my book. And if somebody could just post that in the comment section, that would be awesome. Um, so let's talk a little bit about rent own. And actually let's talk about the opportunity for rent own right now and getting into a rent own because it's actually, uh, I see a lot of similarities to when I actually started in rent own uh, back in 2009, I'm sure if you remember, uh, prior to 2009, we had the large crash in, what was it, 2006, 2000, 2007, a uh, large housing crash. There was a, a huge amount of opportunity. And it's because there was a lot of homeowners who found themselves in situations because of the economy, because of not enough buyers uh, out there looking to buy properties, and the banks are are tightening up their the lending practices so much and I see a lot of similarities in what was going on prior to this epidemic. There was a lot of uh, bank tightening up. There's a lot of people that are out of work because of the economy situation. And there's still a lot of really good people out there with great jobs, make good money, have a down payment that just can't get qualified today either because of the tightening of the banks or uh, because they have some blemishes on their credit or maybe they're new to the country, maybe they're not at their job long enough, uh, maybe they're self-employed and they just need to learn to structure their uh, paying themselves, whatever the situation, it doesn't matter. Uh, but now is I see a lot of similarities in uh, what's going on right now that I saw back in 2009. And when I started in 2009, it was uh, the market for rent to own was amazing people were able to get into rent on there was an abundance of properties for rent on and what we were doing really is helping out the homeowners who were uh, struggling and I was getting people that wanted to get into a home and uh, helping out the homeowner and the, the, the tenant buyer so I see a lot of similarities in what's going on right now and I think once this uh, virus is over I think there will be a huge surge of homeowners who are going to need to do something with their property and there's not going to be a lot of qualified tenant a lot of qualified buyers out there because the banks are going to tighten up the lending practices so some so really good people may actually have to uh, go into a, a rent down situation so um, what I want to do is actually go through and help people that want to do that and help them do it yourself so uh, like I said if you have a good stable job and have some money saved up and you can support a mortgage you know now is a good time to get into rent owned and now is actually a good time to head over to buyfor100down.com grab a copy of that book that walks you through like those three stages of getting into a rent owned okay uh so now one of the biggest questions like i said that i keep getting is how much how much of a down payment do i need and how much are my monthly payments so i thought well this is a great time for me to help show you actually how to how to figure this out for yourself okay so there's a lot of people that are really held back because they just don't know how to do this or they don't understand how it all works and that's one of the biggest things I want to do today is try to help fill in those blanks and maybe 
show you a little bit about how it all works. You know, people are worried about uh, not knowing all the costs associated when it comes to, to getting into a rent own, uh, being short uh, with respect to the down payment. And then when it comes time to actually buy at the end of the term, because they haven't calculated it properly, uh, where they think that the price of the home is actually going to change throughout the term of the rent own and trying to sort of answer all those questions and, under, and help you understand the financial side of getting into rent to own and setting it up for success. Because I believe, truly believe that rent to own is one of the best vehicles for people to get into home ownership, as well as one of the best vehicles for homeowners to sell their property at the same time. Uh, two people are helping each other out in, in, in the world uh, and both are, are getting a great deal. Homeowner is going to make more money, less stress. The tenant buyer is going to be able to get into home at a fair price and fair terms. Okay, so we're going to get into um, how this all works. I'm going to try to switch my screen. Oh no! Can I switch screens? Where's my? <laughs> Where is my? Um... I had it all done on a piece of paper, uh, and I thought I could just do a screen share. That I could just flip to a screen share, but oh, it's the first time doing it on just on my computer screen. Okay, so I guess I can't flip to a screen share. So what I'm going to do quickly is just pull it up on my computer so I can walk you through it here, I guess. It would have been so much better if I could show this. Well, I'll have to do another video and just and actually walk it through this. But let me see. What kind of buttons do I have here that uh, that's what happens when you go live. Technical issues. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to uh, share my screen. No, it doesn't look like I'm able to share my screen here. Oh, what's this? Interactive polls. No. Okay, so talking about how to calculate uh, for a down payment and a monthly payment. Okay, so I'm gonna, I did the example using a home price of $350,000. Okay, so that's going to be the price of the home uh, for the rent to own that you're looking at getting into. So if you go to, a tr go to get a mortgage through a traditional bank, the bank is going to require you to have a 5% down payment. Okay, so even at the end of the rent to own term, when it comes time to actually buy the home, at the end of the term, you're still going to need to have that 5%. So 5% of $350,000 is, is $17,500. So you're going to need to have accumulated $17,500 by the end of the rent to own term. So if your term is three years long, as long as you have that $17,500 built up by the end of the rent, year, rent to own term, then you have enough to actually qualify to get the traditional mortgage through the bank. Okay, so how do you come up with that $17,500? Because a lot of people just don't have that down right at the very beginning. So let's say you're going to come into the rent own and you have $7,500 saved up. Okay, so that's going to be your initial down payment for your rent own, $7,500. Now, if you take $17,500, which is the total that you need, and you subtract the $7,500 that you have right now, that leaves a difference of $10,000. So during the term of your rent to own, you need to save up another $10,000 to be able to have that 5% at the end of the term, okay? So a typical rent to own term is uh, 36 months, but, it's, but we customize it based on every single individual and every single individual's requirements. So let's just use a 36 month term. Okay, so we know that we need another $10,000 built up over 36 months. So if we tend to take $10,000, divide by 36 months, it comes out to just over $278 a month. Okay, so you need to put an extra $278 away every single month for the next 36 months so that at the end of the rent down term, you have your $17,500, which is 5% of the purchase price. Okay, so but that's not the only part of the monthly payment. So the monthly payment is actually made up of two things. It's that extra $277 that you need to save every month, but it's also uh, comprised of fair market rent. So the banks, when they look at these rent-owned contracts, they wanna make sure that 
you're renting a home for fair market rent for a property just like that in your area. So what we tend to do a lot of times is we'll scour Kijiji or Craigslist or Facebook groups or uh, some of those property management sites and we'll figure out what fair market rent is for a property just like the one you want to get into in that area. So let's say after all of our analysis looking at all these homes in the same, you know, 10 block radius or so, we figured out that the rent is going to be $1,800. So fair market rents $1,800. Okay, so your monthly payment is actually made up of those two payments. You have to pay the $1,800 a month, plus you need that extra $278 a month. So your total payment is $2,078 a month would be your total payment, monthly payment for the rent own. So you come in with it with $7,500 down, Every month you make $1,800 rent payment and $278 uh, option payment that goes towards your down payment. And also in a rent zone, you're responsible for all the, all the uh, utilities typically and a portion of all the repairs and maintenance. Now the owner, their, the part of what they have to pay is they need to pay the mortgage, the taxes, the insurance, and any homeowner's fees or condo fees. They're responsible for those. You don't have to worry about any of those. You just have to make sure that you pay the rent portion and the extra option portion every single month to make sure that you have your 5% by the end of the rent own term. Okay, so that's how you'd actually calculate the down payment as well as the monthly payment for getting into the rent to own, okay? So, uh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit of story about how I got started in all of this with respect to helping people actually do it themselves rather than me, me doing it as a business. But uh, now's a good time uh, to get yourself prepared to take advantage of, of what's going to happen once this, uh, what, take advantage of all the opportunities that are actually going to come up once the uh, quarantine session is over. Um, so to learn the three-step model for getting into a rent own today head over to buy for 100 downcom and uh, grab your grab a copy of the book uh, and get the information on how you can get into a home okay so back to the the story of how i'm actually started to do this i, I started rent own business back in 2009 and like i said it was just after the financial crisis so there was a lot of opportunities i was putting a lot of uh people in homes and helping a lot of homeowners out and during after that I started training a lot of real estate investors to actually do this business they all wanted to learn how to do real estate investing you know the no money down strategy whatever it was they all wanted to learn how to do it so I, I built built an actual model on how you actually do this so processes on how this is actually done and I've been training real estate investors ever since to do this as a business and then a few years ago I thought to myself well why don't I just train the people to do this? Why don't I just train people that want to get into a rent zone? Why don't I just train them how to do it? And why don't I just train the homeowners, teach them and work with them on how they can do it for themselves and cut out the middleman? Because what do I care? I can only work with so many people at a time anyway. I can't stop that like I can help everybody. And I'm typically in one geographical location, even though I have partners all around. But I think it's better for me just to help ever to show everybody how to do it th th themselves and then if they do want my help then they can still get my help so that's why I ended up writing a couple of books uh, on the, the topic of rent to own one for homeowners one for uh, tenant buyers uh, on how they can actually get in their own rent to own so uh, by the way you can grab a copy of that book it goes through the three stages of attracting the homeowner uh, presenting and negotiating with the homeowner as well as setting up and structuring the deal for success, you can grab a copy of that at uh, buyfor100down.com. Okay. So, like I was mentioned, uh, to summarize everything, there's uh, there's a lot of opportunities right now, and there's going to be a lot more opportunities once the economy uh, comes out of the uh, the quarantine and the and the shutdown that we're in. There's going to be a huge amount of opportunities because there's going to be a lot of people that were laid off from their jobs and their jobs aren't going to come back or homeowners that are in a situation where they just can't afford uh, to pay the mortgage any any longer because of what's happening you know they're put in a bad situation 
So what you end up doing is you're actually helping the homeowner and helping them to save off foreclosure because there's going to be a lot guaranteed after uh, the summer, between the summer and Christmas, there's going to be a lot of foreclosures uh, that take place. So by helping people get into a rent to own, then we're going to help save a lot of foreclosures that are going to end up happening. So now's a good time to set yourself up and take advantage of what the opportunity is going to come along. So if you're looking to get into a home and the bank has just said no, or you're not qualified right now, but you have a great job, you have a down payment and you you're able to afford the mortgage. Now is a great time to figure out how it's done so that you can take advantage once this quarantine lifts of getting into your own rent to own um, and finding the property because there's going to be a lot of homeowners that can't afford to pay their mortgage anymore and there's no way that there's good there's uh the banks are, are tightening up their lending practices there's no way that there's going to be enough people to buy houses that can qualify for a mortgage so the best thing is arming a lot of people that are can get into a home that still have jobs that have down payment that ha just have some blemishes on their credit maybe they just don't qualify now arming you guys and, and everybody that wants to get into a home teaching them how to do it so they can help out the homeowners who are potentially going to end up losing their home uh, to foreclosure and that's you know that's seven years of bad credit so if they can if they can't sell it you know having somebody come in and rent it for two to three years and then buy it from them is much better than losing it to foreclosure and I've dealt with my share of foreclosures and people going through foreclosure trust me this is a great a great avenue for homeowners to uh, to get somebody into their home when the market is very tight when there's not a lot of traditional buyers that can qualify for a mortgage because of the bank so now's the the great time to get into uh, to get into home ownership so and just like to summarize um, we went through uh, figuring out how the price how to, you know the price of the home at the end the price of the home is is set right up front so you don't have to worry the price is not going to change during the term uh, for fair market rent as we talked about earlier fair market rent is whatever rent for something like for a property like that uh, would be right now do some analysis figure out what the fair market rent is that's what you should be paying as a rental price you come in with your down payment whatever that is you're going to need to know what the five percent total at the end of the term you're going to need to know that so you can do that calculation and how much extra you're going to have to pay every single month on top of the uh the rental payment and that'll go towards your down payment so at the end of the term you've set yourself up for success so the money you put down plus the money you saved every month is going to equal the five percent that you need at the end of the term to qualify for the rent own and of course during that term you're always dealing with your credit coach the mortgage broker and setting yourself up for success so you're going to be able to qualify at the end of that term and like i said now is the perfect time to take advantage of the opportunity that is going to be coming up so if you don't qualify for a traditional mortgage today the bank has said no now is the perfect time to learn how to get into your own rent to own because there's going to be a lot of available properties come the, the last half of this year of homeowners who can't sell to uh, because there's not a, an abundance of traditional buyers and the banks are tightening up so get yourself in a position where you can actually take advantage and get into a property help out a homeowner save off foreclosure get get it in a good price good terms helping somebody else out at the same time all right so to learn how to do that that three-step process attract negotiate and set up and structure head over to buy for 100 down.com grab a copy of my book and uh, go through it and um, look to get yourself into a rent own set yourself up for success all right so uh, I want to thank everybody um, if you haven't done so if you have any questions or comments let's see if I can figure this thing out I can't even see where they put where comments go if you have any questions or comments, just uh, put them on uh, in the comment field and I'll follow up with you right away. And uh, if not, uh, make sure that you stay safe, uh, look after your neighbor, help everybody out, and uh, look forward to chatting with you again in the near future. All right, have a good one.
I don't know what's going on. I can't even figure out how to turn this thing off. Is that it? Oh, there we go. All right, everybody. Take care.